I'm Erica. I'm a hairstylist in Los Angeles, and I'm here to share a fun, long, layered haircut. We're going to add some bangs on Victoria. It's going to give her a really cool new look. So thanks for tuning in. So first thing, I want to set in her bangs right away. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the hair that sits in her bang area naturally. And to do this, I really like to take a look at how, how the hair is falling from, from the scalp, really look at the growth pattern as well as her head shape. So right now, I'm just looking at where her head naturally starts to slope forward and combing this hair straight forward. I'm also including a little bit of these side bits that I'm gonna to add to frame, frame out the features in her face and connect to the bangs. So we've got this hair that's growing naturally straight forward. That's what we're setting into the bang section for Victoria. And then also on the sides, we're looking at this hair that's kind of growing down along the side. Or so I'm not adding anything into the bang section that doesn't naturally want to fall forward on her. I want these to sit a little closer to her eyebrow, but I'm going to start out a little below that to give the bangs some extra room to pop up a little bit when they're drier. So I'm going to hold this section tight with lots of tension and then go ahead with the flat of my blade the flat of my blade and just melt some of that extra length away. And already we're opening her up so nicely. So now I'm gonna take a section directly parallel to that center section and maybe at a slight diagonal. I'm gonna over direct that into the center and just continue that line down. And I like to work side to side as I'm cutting. It allows me to help check for balance and to get a nice rhythm going as well. So I'm creating these nice soft lines with the razor. Cute. I'm taking my next section. I'm holding my fingers a little more vertically and over directing everything into the center of her face. Using a nice medium stroke. So I'm creating this really cool soft line that pushes the hair from the center down to the sides. Such a nice change already. I'm gonna move over to her little side bits. I'm gonna give her just a bit of framing. So as you can see, it's a really, really thin section. And I like to gauge these lengths a bit more just visually. I've got a little bit of a guide from the end of my bangs here. And I want these to kind of set in and frame her, frame her cheekbones a bit more here. I'm gonna comb these straight forward and over direct up just a little bit and that's gonna help give a lightness to the, the section. I've got a bit of a visual guide here from the end of my bangs. I'm actually gonna drop this section and start a little bit higher up. So I'm gonna go in with a medium stroke and just take some of that extra length away. And now I'm gonna come from behind and just create a bit of a point. The same thing on this side. I'm gonna 
pull this forward. I've got a little bit of a guide from my bang section. I'm actually gonna let this drop, but just take a mental note of around where that starts. And I'm gonna start a little bit shorter than that piece and work my way a bit longer. So just kind of slide down as I'm cutting. We'll come in from behind, go a little short to long here. So I'm gonna continue on with my layering now, and I'm gonna take close to vertical sections, but make them a little bit diagonal back, and then work parallel sections, working through the side of the head. So I'm starting from the middle parting, and taking a section with a slight diagonal back. And I've got a little bit of a visual guide from my bangs that I'm actually gonna slide past a little bit to give me some length, but I can see, okay, her bangs start there. I want the layers to start a little bit longer than that. So I'm sliding maybe an inch, two inches past the bang, and that's kind of up to what I think is gonna suit her best. So I take a moment, kind of see where that's gonna hit her if I cut it here. I like that, so we're gonna go with that. Get to use a lot of your own artistic creativity with this haircut. And I'm just continuing down that section, pulling that straight forward. I see where I left off my last cut. I'm just creating some nice layer here. And as I go through this section, I like to take a moment, look for any areas of density where the hair gets kind of thicker. And I can go through and just lightly melt some of that hair away. So we'll take that next section, starting from the center on top, and continuing back. Pulling this straight in front of her. I can see visually where my last cut was, and so I'm gonna go in and just follow that down. Feels so much lighter already. Work my way down this section. I'll lift this a little bit higher, get some more elevation. I see where my last section uh, left off and I'm holding my fingers vertically. I'm gonna start a little bit higher and then work my way down. Victoria here has a lot of hair that's a finer texture. So this is a really fun texture to cut with a razor because I know if I go in and just remove some of that weight for her, we're going to see a lot more kind of movement happening in our end result. And I love to personalize these haircuts as I go. So the haircut doesn't end up feeling one size fits all. I'm really looking at the canvas that each client's hair is giving me and I'm working with what I see. So we're continuing on next section same way and now we're getting into the hairline in the back. When I start working into this back hairline, that's when I really start thinking about how much length do I wanna keep in the haircut? Cause this is where you start really seeing that length that'll fall in the front. So I don't wanna cut all of Victoria's length off. So I might, 
I'm going to really start dropping my hands back as I'm cutting to preserve more of this length. So here I go. I'm going to slide my fingers down as I cut. Still got a little bit of that pink color on the end. So now as I'm working into the back, I'm going to start taking my sections almost more pivoting from this center point in the back of the head. We're going to lift this hair up. And the nice thing about this is I can still see this hair that I've cut from previous sections. So that gives me a good visual guide, making sure I'm on track. And it might seem like there's a lot of hair coming off, but remember we didn't start out with a lot of layering and that's the main change we're going for here. So as you can see, we've created all these short layers on top still, and we're still able to seamlessly connect to the length. I'm just gonna go in again and remove a bit more of this density. You can see how dense her hair is, because I'm barely seeing any light kind of going all the way through. If, her, if she had a finer head of hair, I might not need to take this extra step to remove more density. So just going through, taking my section again and carving out a few little C shapes, some little semicircles almost. And it just creates some nice separations and petals in her hair. All right, last section in the back. So I'm basically gonna go down and just work my way through this center back section. this straight forward. I can see where my last section left off. I can tell this last section was very dense, so we'll definitely go through, take some weight out here. And come in from on top. So I'll just kind of go through Visually check this shape from this side. Trim away any little bits. And now we're ready to do the same thing on the other side. So once I've worked my way through both sides, that's when I like to take a moment and really check for balance on either side. I do that with my hands and just use my tactile senses to double check as well.
The final step in this haircut is to take, uh, I like to call it a teardrop or maybe a lemon shape section. Think about it as a real skinny football if you want. It's kind of pointed on each side. And I'll go from where the bang section left off to about the low crown in the head. And what I like to do first is I'll take this and work it straight up. And remember, we've already cut this with our initial layering, but I'm gonna go through first, I'll go through here and see if I wanna take out any more density, a little more weight removal with heavy spots. And then I'll go in through the top and cut short to long from the front to the back. So first I'll go in, do a little more weight removal. Get rid of some of that hair. And then work from the short hair in the front to, to the length in the back. And this will just help to really finalize the layers. So I'm gonna go through and take a parallel section on either side, just widen out my football. Start with a bit of weight removal. I'm over directing this hair slightly towards the center of the head. And then go through and cut short to long. Just a bit of refinement on the layering. So at this point, now that I've worked my way through most of my layering, I'm gonna go through and check my shape again. So to do this, again, I like to use my fingers a lot. Hold the hair out, check for balance. everyone and so here's our finished look we've got these really cute curtainy bangs that sweep really seamlessly into our pieces that are framing her face and the layering moving into the front and I'll show you the back we've got all this beautiful light breezy movement in the back but we've still managed to maintain the feeling of all that length as well with a lot more rock and layers. Um.